In this video, I want to talk about how it's important to get a baseline before you head on your path. What's going on guys, Armando Gong here, back with another video here to have the right conversations about living our best life. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to hear whenever I push out new content. Now, I'm talking about getting a baseline first in doing everything we do because for the first time today in, I think, roughly eight months, I actually got under a barbell and did some squats and did some benching. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I am re relatively into fitness and it's one of my big things of this channel is have the best life that we can live. And part of that is having a good physical body. And I, for me, I like to, you know, work out. I like to do a lot of physical exercise and just do a lot of different things. And um, unfortunately, I haven't been doing too much barbell training since my meet in last March. And I've kind of put it down, put it away, haven't really touched it. And today was the first time I've touched it in a very long time. And for me, it's one of those things where I needed to keep on practicing it, but at the same time, I really kind of let that go. And I think that speaks for all of us where we've um, pursued an activity for a while and then we took a break away from it. And then now that I'm trying to get back into it, I can't really rely on what my old numbers used to be, how what my performance numbers used to be, because at this point they're completely out of date. But at the same time, like how exactly should I, you know, progress from here? Like how do I know if I'm actually getting better or not? Like the process of just like, you know, working out and just adding more weight on the bar is like a pretty self-explanatory thing. Most likely you, I will definitely get better from that. But, you know, it's really nice to just know where I'm starting from, how much progress I can make and just see where if I, what I've lost, like how much I used to be able to do and just see where I am relative to where I used to be. And I try not to make comparisons too much about from, from me to other people, just because what they're going through versus what I'm going through could be completely separate uh, situations and circumstances. And I don't think it's relatively productive to be able to compare, like gauge your performance versus what other people are accomplishing. But I think it's nice to just see like where I am now currently versus where I was roughly eight months ago. Because for me, it gives me a good gauge like, oh, if I've done this before previously, if I keep on putting in the work or putting in the effort, putting in that consistency, doing all my workouts, I can get back to where I was. Um, because I don't consider myself like a world-class athlete. And at the same time, I know that my effort isn't extraordinary, but it did require some consistency and dedication to it. So for me, it was it's a good way to just gauge where I am now, where I can keep on going, and how much room I can continue to improve if I stick stuck with this consistently. Um, even last year and the year before, I always took a break after uh, March or April from powerlifting. And then by the time I pick it back up and after my Dragon Boat season and the off season, which is around October to November, I was like, it's me trying to just regain what I got to previously. And then to build on top of that, there isn't that much time. And I know for me, um, I need to do a much better job of just being consistent at it, just being doing those exercises, even for a little bit during throughout the entire year, rather than taking a complete break like I've been doing the past couple of years, which for me is a is kind of a very bad habit, which I need to break out of, and I'm well aware of it. And so I'm now today, you know, did my first one rep maxes in a very long time and surprisingly i know that it's not the best numbers but for me they're pretty decent it gives me something to work on and it gives me a good idea of how, what type of weights i can push safely and just being able to build my foundation once again it's kind of a long rant in terms of uh, what i really wanted to talk about today but today i did my one rep max on my squat and my bench I found out what my baseline is at this point relative to where I was previously eight months ago after my last meet, but also how much room I can continue to improve and how much more improvement I can make in terms of just getting stronger back to where I was physically and just having a good idea of, of a roadmap of which, how I want to get to there. 
Um, I think it's important to both establish where you are currently versus where you want to be in the future. And if you don't know where you are now, like how are you exactly going to get there, nor do you know if you're, what you're doing in terms of your work, in terms of your programming, in terms of your planning, if that is actually effective. So that's really all I have for today. I think it's a bit rambling that what I spoke about, but I think you all get the gist of it. Um, leave a comment below if you if any of this video rang a bell with you and click the subscri subscribe button if you have not done so and the notification bell to find out whenever I push out new videos. Take it easy.